A bold theft caught on camera. A group stealing catalytic converters from a business in southwest Harris County. KPRC 2's Rilwan Belogan live now with more of that video. Rilwan, this is not a new crime trend, but it does seem to increase in waves. No, it's not new. Law enforcement officials say this isn't just an issue here in the county, but across the country, frankly. And they say that individuals could be paid between 200 and 300 per catalytic converter. In about 10 minutes, two catalytic converters to this box truck stolen by thieves. It's just kind of like frustrating because they casually pull up. They get out of the vehicle. There was three individuals who work as a team. It happened a few days ago at an industrial park off the Beltway near Cullen. It's the second time Todd Ellison's work truck was targeted. Uh, what if somebody had happened upon him? What would they have done? You know, uh, I think there's a potential here for, for somebody getting hurt. It's an ongoing issue nationwide. Harris County Sheriff's Auto Theft Sergeant says it's a moneymaker for thieves who can get dozens in a matter of hours. But it hurts the pockets of their victims, like Ellison's company, shelling out $4,500 to replace it. What's more frustrating, Ellison says, the vehicle the thieves were in, an Audi. I guess the business is good. He and Precinct 7 deputies want people to call them if they know these three. It's pretty frustrating. Harris County Sheriff's Office say drivers can deter thieves in a few ways. One, consider getting a catalytic converter shield. Makes it harder to remove. Two, cover it with heat-resistant paints. Too bright to go unnoticed. And lastly, get a mechanic to etch your VIN number on it so it's identifiable if stolen. And the auto theft unit sergeant there at that if they don't have any identifiable traits on these catalytic converters, it's hard to identify them to a vehicle and a driver, making it even harder to prosecute. Live in Southwest Houston, Robon Belogan, KPRC 2 News.